What's up, y'all? It's your boy Nate or Elite. Welcome back to another uh, reaction. Right now, we are doing Tommy Feel Like, which this is off a of 2CB. Damn, I did not mean to hit that shit. I'm sorry. One second. It's been a while. Your boy's a bit rusty. Um, not really. It's just, it's been a while. But um, we're doing one of my uh, artist friends, Tommy. I've reacted to his stuff before, I think. Um, once, but I don't know if I ever dropped it, but this is feel like, I think this is off a of 2CB, somebody let me know, I don't know. Yeah, if somebody could tell me what this beat is from, I think it's a 2C song. You ever feel like you put in more and then got less? You ever feel like you at your lowest and not your best? You ever get that pain feeling deep inside your chest? And your bones feel it in your soul when you try and rest? Can't cut a bill. Ah, he said, you ever get that feeling inside your chest? inside your bones when you try and rest because he's so used to working he's always working he's, he's always making music he's streaming he's doing stuff a lot of my artist friends say the same things about stuff like that man you know um a lot of my artist friends a lot of the people that i know that do social media they say the same thing and uh i kind of feel like that when i go hard on the youtube shit but he talks about like a lot of people not even watching his uh, music or like interacting with his music and I gotta be honest with y'all that's why I stopped doing YouTube so heavily bro because nobody watches my stuff or whenever I do a, a reaction people ask for it gets taken down so that's why I stopped doing this stuff so heavily but I know he's not gonna take this down and it's a good message for all of my audience to hear and just everyone who watches this I think in my personal opinion and then got less ah. you ever feel like you at your lowest and not your best you ever get that pain feeling deep inside your chest and your bones feel it in your soul when you try and rest ah. can't pay the bills your money low that shit got you stressed ah. shit going wrong you hate yourself and your life's a mess ah. Friends he said shit going wrong um you hate yourself and your life's a mess bro i've never been i i can't say i haven't been there but it, it depression for me has always been kind of an up an up and down thing like i know that god put me on the planet for a reason and that i'm here doing what i'm supposed to be doing which is entertaining y'all making sure that somebody's day is better because i can freaking make it better i can give them a compliment i can make a youtube video i can do a tiktok that might change somebody's life you know what i mean and that's why i do this i don't do it for the money i don't do it for the fame god knows i don't do it for the fame bro it's been eight years and i have not even 200 subscribers in that eight years. So, yeah. I don't do this for the money. I'm not famous. I just do it because I love it. And I'm going to do it when I love it. Actors strange because shit went unaddressed. Mm. Words exchanged, broke bonds, trying to express all the pain feeling in your heart when you got nothing left. Don't even know what be wrong. You just be depressed. Stop answering your phone. Bro, I feel like I've never experienced that, but I have many friends that have where they say, like, they don't know where the stuff comes from the stuff comes from and i can tell you from uh having anxiety for so many years i've kind of learned how to actually handle it now but it's one of those things where when you first start dealing with it you have no idea you know what i mean it just gets scary you don't know how to breathe uh <laughs> shit is not fun you know what i mean it's very very stressful when you first don't know what's going on with yourself and then you have to like dig deep within yourself to find out what is causing that is it a relationship that you're in is it the lack thereof is it a family issue is it something that you're doing that is triggering that you know what i mean so last said you don't see the tech ah. stop with all the cap oh you just be depressed ah. stop answering your phone you lost said you don't see the tech ah. stop with all the cap homie you can be the wreck i'm not gonna lie i do that I <laughs> I will look at a text message and then not answer it for three hours just because I don't feel like talking to people at certain points, bro. I feel like everybody's been there, though. And me being so, like, 
focused on myself and stuff, I don't really be doing anything like that. I have my circle of like three friends and my family that I text, but not even a lot of my family I even text. You know, I try, but um, some of my extended family and like even close family don't talk to me. You, you can only try and reach up for so long before you just kind of go, okay, it's in God's hands. If they want to talk to me, be there for them as people, but you don't need to always be chasing them. Same way with women. Like, I love women, and I have, like, someone in mind that I'd love to spend some more time with, but I don't even know if she's into me like that. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. But, um, so I would always say that if you have something like that, ask that person, be direct. Uh, be yourself and just see, but then if they say no, just, uh, <laughs> it's hard to do, but just kind of, um, take it on the chin and move on, you know what I mean? But, like, if you really love that person, you gotta try, or even if you really wanna spend time with that person and make them feel, wait, what the hell? Work. Hang on. What? And play. I gotta actually cut this out, cause this is gonna go directly to a old... Without delay. Hang on, y'all. Choose the browser, engineered. Nope. We are not about to do that because I know that that is going to be in your heart when Um, let me full screen this again. Sorry about that. I'm just going to leave this raw, by the way. But, um, yeah, that's just how I feel about it, though. Bones feel it in your soul when you try and rest. Uh, Can't pay the bills, your money low. That shit got you stressed. Go. Shit going wrong, you hate yourself and your life's a mess. Friends change, acting strange because shit went unaddressed. Words exchange, broke bonds, trying to express all the pain. Feeling in your heart when you got nothing left. Uh, don't even know what be wrong, you just be depressed. Uh, Stop answering your phone, you lost and you don't see the text. I do that. Stop with all the cap, homie, you can be the wreck. Yeah. I know how it feels to be counted out and neglected. Yeah. Everyone left, but you still Bro, let me let me let me talk to y'all about something. He said, "I know how it feels to be uh, counted out and neglected." That is a hundred percent me, bro. It doesn't matter if it's with my friends, if it's with my family. Like some of my close family spends time with me, but my best friends don't. Like some of them have lives and have things they gotta do and things like that. But I feel like not even half my friends spend time with me i've never really had like a serious girlfriend one you guys know about her shout out to shannon hope she's doing okay but um no nah, like it's one of those things where it's just like i've never been given a chance dude and as a disabled guy that's all we want bro <laughs> is one chance to make people happy to be um given the chance to show people that we're more than a disability we're more than what uh people define us as because it's sad to say this but People are always going to define you um, when you have a physical disability, but that disability does not define you as a person. So that's my personal opinion on that. But I feel him so hard because the amount of times I want to hang out with my friends or ask girls out and it's scary because they don't want to give you a chance. They'll reject you. It's not fun. dog. It's really not. But uh, I hope everyone knows that, uh, you know, just do it. <laughs> you got to. You know what I mean? It's scary and it's nerve-wracking and anxiety filling but it's worth it if um for all those things if somebody actually will give you a chance and be a good person and be your best friend be a good partner be a good friend whatever you need them to be so yeah i feel that god dang it i just muted that i think yep one sec I know how it feels to be counted out and neglected. Stop. Everyone left, but you still hanging like a necklace. Count your blessings. Still you're losing. You're going to learn a couple lessons. Had he, to said, build this block by he, he said, bro, did this man just say that? He did. Oh, my God, he did. He just, we're backing that up. We are backing that up. And I know this is about to be a long-ass reaction. All right, I'm a reaction channel. Get used to it. Money on my mind. Fuck these bitches and friends. I'm fighting demons on the daily. Got money on my been working till I'm restless, try and touch me and M. Nope. I got my I'm too far. Couple lessons, had to build this block by block. It feels like I'm playing Tetris. Wait, I've been fucking necklace, count your blessings. Do you lose it? You gonna learn it. He said, You ever had people ne uh, leave and neglect you, but then you don't even know what be yeah, wrong. You just be depressed. Uh, Stop answering your phone, you lost and you don't see the tech. Stop with all the cap, homie, you can be the wreck. I know how it feels to be counted out and neglected. Everyone left, but you still hanging like a neck. 
He said, I know how it feels to be counted out and neglected, but you still hang in there like a necklace. Because when you wear necklaces, I don't have any of my chains on. But when you wear, like, chains or necklaces or pendants, they hang off your chest. So you're hanging there like a necklace. Oh, fuck. Count your blessings through your losing. You gonna learn a couple lessons. How to he said, make sure to count your blessings because through your losing, you're gonna learn a couple of lessons. Oh, my lord. The word play, boys. Block by block, it feels like I'm playing Tetris. I've been he said, I built this block by block. It feels like I'm playing Tetris because, you know, you build a little, like, um, the little... Tetris wall, and then if you match the pieces up together, it breaks down and you get points for that fire. Until I'm restless, try to touch me and M. I got money on. He said I'm working Black, till I'm restless. Like I'm playing Tetris. I've been working to till I'm in. restless, try to touch ah. me and M. Yeah, I got fire. money on my mind. Fuck these bitches and friends. I'm fighting demons. He said I got money on my mind. Fuck these bitches and friends, bro. I feel like I I gotta disagree with that for one reason, bro. You need two things in this world, bro. Three. Actually, four. No, there's four things you need in life. You need a good steady job to make a good income. You need God first, actually. Let's do this in order. You need a good relationship with God to let him know, or to let yourself know and to let him know that you care about him and also that he's got your back. You need money to actually survive in this crazy-ass world we live in. You need a good girl that be by your side and love you and be there for you when shit really hits the fan. And then you need one friend. You don't need 30 fucking people. You need one person. So make that happen at all, t at all times. Love that one person like it's your brother, bro. So, facts. In the daily while I'm dropping these gems, I what is my block it feels like i'm playing tetris ah. i've been working till i'm restless try and touch me and m i got money on my mind fuck these bitches and friends i'm fighting demons on the daily while i'm dropping these gems and ah. i'll admit if it was bro you said you're fighting the demons on the daily while dropping these gems i mean that's a fire vibe right there but i gotta say something else too man you gotta remember those demons those things that you fight you know whether it's yourself thinking you're not good enough whether it's you know, somebody being like, oh, this is shit, da da da. Look, the demons that you have deep down inside of you, whether it's anger issues or whatever, like, use them and channel them into something. Like, bro, having those things is good for two reasons. It allows you to protect your heart so you're not as open to things and so that you think a lot more analytically. And it allows you to actually focus whatever anger in your life into something do that positively though not negatively and you will pop off guaranteed so those things aren't necessarily bad you just can't let them like control you you control them bro fuck these bitches and friends i'm fighting demons on the daily while i'm dropping these gems and i'll admit if it wasn't for music i wouldn't be shit I gotta learn through all the tough times lots of way to make it at least he said that he said i admit that if i wasn't if it wasn't for the music, I wouldn't be shit. No, you would be. You'd probably be flipping burgers or doing something crazy, you know. Um, just like doing normal people shit. But also, um, you would have been wasting a God-given talent. That's what I will say. And that's not something you ever want to do. God gave it to you. You're supposed to use it. I'll admit if it wasn't for music, I wouldn't be shit. Ah. Gotta learn through all the tough times. Lots ah. of way to make a strong mind. Paying ah. dues, make sure that you he said, you got to learn through the tough times. That's a w good way to make a strong mind. Oh, my Lord. Because going through tough times makes stronger people. Because what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, quite literally, physically, and mentally. Facts. Time, because nothing lasts forever. I promise to get my own. Lots of way to make a strong mind. Paying ah. dues, make sure they're on time. Because ah. nothing lasts forever. I promise to get my all, even if it don't get better. Ah. A lot of shit I can't say, so that's why I wrote you this letter. Since he said, um, paying the bills because nothing lasts forever. Uh, what, what the hell did he say right there? Hang on. We're going to back this up. Promise to give my all, even if it don't get better. A lot of shit. He said, I promise to give it my all, even if shit don't get better. It says, so that's why I wrote you this letter since you left. There's certain shit I can't say, so that's why I wrote you this letter. Oh, my Lord. Okay. So this is like a love letter to himself or to a family member or something. That's kind of fire. I like it. Get my all, even if it don't get better. A lot of shit I can't say, so that's why I wrote you this letter since you left. I've been alone, and that's something that I'm scared of.
Bro, he said, since you left, I've been alone, and that's something I'm scared of, bro. I gotta be honest with y'all, that is the number one thing I'm scared of most, bro, is spending the best years of my life, bro, my 20s alone. That shit sucks, bro. Being disabled, being freaking different, nobody wants to be with you. You gotta learn how to navigate that shit, man. Um, it does suck, though, because, like, I'm not a very good person at being alone. You have to learn how to do that. And even then, I don't like it. I will say that. I'm a real one. I don't like being alone. I don't think anybody does, but it just sucks that everyone overlooks you because you're different. Don't ever forget that no matter if you're different, no matter if you're disabled, no matter if you're um, like autistic or whatever kind of disability you have, you are worth it, though. That... And people need to start understanding that more often. I'm not going to lie. Say so that's why I wrote you this letter. Since you left, I've been alone. And that's something that I'm scared of. Fact. But through the thick and thin, I just learned to keep my head up. I so, remember all the times I ain't have shit, so I can't let up. And I do this for the fam, because I know that they... He said, he said, I remember all the times I didn't have shit, so I can't let up. Bro, because he knows, being an artist, that if he stops making music and if he stops making content for the people that started following him and started his freaking little fan base, that he's going to fall off. That is facts. It happens with big artists. It happens with baby artists. It happens with famous artists. It happens with nobodies, bro. It's facts. Why do you think there's so many one-hit wonders on the planet? My head up, I remember all the times I ain't have shit, so I can't let up. Man, I do this for the fam, cause I know that they deserve better. I ain't perfect, but I'm worth and becoming a better person. But the way uh -uh. that's crazy. He said, uh, I, I do this all for the fam. I know I'm not perfect, but um, I'm working to make myself a better person. Oh my lord, okay, fire, man. But I feel like that's an ongoing thing. No matter what, you, if you're in a relationship, if you're single, if you're going through it, if you're not, if you're having a good day, if you're having a bad day, you just try and make the best out of every single second that God gives you on the planet. That's what you have to do. It's facts. I just learned to keep my head up. I remember all the times I ain't have shit, so I can't let up. Man, I do this for the fam, because I know that they deserve better. I ain't perfect, but I'm worth and becoming a better person. Ah. But the way that people be make me question and if it's worth it being... Ah, he said... But with the way people be, I be asking myself if it's worth it. Actually, I feel him, though, because I be asking women out and go, to go do things, and they leave me all red. They don't answer. They laugh. They don't respond. They make fun of me. They, you know, it's crazy, bro, but I feel him because why is it that I spend time doing this if you're not going to care? You know what I mean? Uh, same way with this YouTube shit, man. Um, that's, again, why I stopped doing it for so long. I just want to see someone love the things that I'm uh, passionate about and that I love doing, bro. I forgot how much I love this shit, but I also forgot what kind of shit this comes with. I'm not going to lie. Get you killed and show a love gonna get you hurt. I can't that people be make me question and if it's worth it being real gonna get you killed and show a love gonna get you hurt. I can't put myself in that position. Uh, he said being real gonna get you hurt. And showing, wait, I'm sorry, being real gonna get you killed and showing love gonna make you, uh, gonna get you hurt. Facts, bro. You ever showed love to the wrong woman and she destroys you for no reason? Facts. That, that hit me in the heartstrings, dog. He said, oh, Jesus, God, we gotta run that back. Question and if it's worth it, being real gonna get you killed and showing love gonna get you hurt. I can't put myself. Ah, crazy. He said, being real gone. Uh, being real gonna get you hurt or gonna get you killed and showing love going make you hurt be make me question and if it's worth it being real gonna get you killed and showing love gonna get you hurt I can't put myself in that position just so you don't feel the burden uh, and he said I'll put myself in that position just so you don't feel the burden bro that's legit how I feel I want to see everyone around me as happy as they possibly can be and I got it I'll handle it if there's any backlash that comes with it, if there's any, like, uh, negativeness, I don't want to see the people that I love have to deal with it. Same way with, uh, like, my significant others, bro. If they're going through something, I try and talk people through it because I understand how hard it is to go through stuff, man. I'll pray with them. I've done it, bro. It's great. Everyone should do it. Do this for the fam. I hope they know that I love them. Nah. And we got to stick.
if you don't feel the burden. I said I do this for the fam. I hope they know that I love them. Yeah. And we got to stick together. He said, I do this for the fam. Uh, I hope I... I hope they know that I love them. Bro, that is fact. This is why I do this. Because I want my family, my friends, my significant others, my people to actually see me doing something and be like, you know what? Nate's making a difference. He's making people's day. He's making people laugh. He's doing everything he can to be the best version of himself so that other people can hopefully take some inspiration off of what he's saying. Facts. That's why I do this. God is each other. Ah. Couple dollars to her name was barely food in the cupboard. Nah. But mama tried her best, and for that I love her. Yeah. Cause she raised me like a man when my dad went around. She was there to lift me up when she knew that I was down. Nah. And I'll do anything that I can to make her proud. Cause nothing makes me happier than seeing my family smile. Get them nah. He said, I'll do anything in the world to make my mama proud. Because, what he say? All I, all I love to do is see my family smile. Okay. Anything that I can to make them proud, cause yeah. nothing makes me happier to see oh. my. Nothing makes me happier than to see my family smile. And you know, my mama passed away when I was about nine years old. Rest in peace to my mama. Always and always know I'm gonna love you, mama. But I hope that whenever we get to the pearly gates, man. And I go up to heaven, I get my new legs, and my new body is going to be great. I'm excited for it, and I'm not going to lie, y'all. But I hope that, you know, she looks at me and goes, Nate, you did a good job. I want to leave a legacy for something. I want to make people smile. I want to make people's day, man. And uh, that's what I strive to do always. Um, so <laughs> if this has helped you out at all with whatever you're going through, just hit me up. Let me know. We can talk. And if anyone ever needs anyone to talk to, I'm here. Smile. Get them uh. voices in your head, but can't seem to get them out. Always uh. pushing people ahead, but you still stuck inside a drought. Fact. That shit can get off your chest, can't get the words out your mouth. Give your all to everyone, but never got the same amount. Scared uh. to go out. He said, give your all to everyone, but never get the same amount, bro. Oh my God, if that's not the realest thing anybody's ever said, that's insane. I feel that way specifically with women. I'm not going to lie. That's the way I feel about me being with women. Like, trying. Like, I'll make somebody feel so good and try and hype them up so much and then they don't want anything to do with me just because I'm different. Or just because they don't think I'm attractive or whatever the case is. So, it's crazy, but it's true. Knowing they try and take you out, ah. break your heart as much you ass, just the same amount. Scared to go out with it, knowing they try and take you out. He said, scared to go out without it because they're trying to take you out. Facts, bro. Where this dude is from, I am from as well. Well, actually, he lives about, I don't know, an hour from where I'm from. But the dude did not come from a nice place, bro. So I'm not surprised that he carries and he goes out places. He don't even live in the state no more or nothing. Um, but yeah, I feel him though, for sure, for sure. Work your hardest, bust your ass just to try and make it out. Drop your songs. Hope he said, you ever work your hardest, bust your ass just to try and make it out. Yeah. Yeah. I know people that have, you know what I mean? I, I do know that. And I work so hard every day because being disabled, it takes about two or four times the more effort for me to just do daily tasks, bro. But I still push through it because I want to be a good example for somebody, you know? But uh, that's how I feel about it. I want to hear him play this shit out. And honestly, I think that's what this about. Because yeah. the views don't mean nothing if they ain't relating to it. And See? Like, people don't mean nothing if they don't learn to love it. This man is speaking. I want y'all to listen to the whole thing. I'm not going to pause throughout this whole thing. I'm just going to let the last little bit rock. And I want you guys to listen to the whole thing. Because the views don't mean nothing if they ain't relating to it. And, like, people don't mean nothing if they don't learn to love it. And I realize sometimes it's way more than just music. And not everybody just listening to music. Some people, you give them confidence. You let them know they can do it and they are enough. Sometimes you live in proof anything can happen. And, and that means more to me just knowing I put somebody on a better path from listening to my song. That shit means way more than any amount of views or like. Amen, brother. Oh, fuck amen to that. Thank God for this man, bro. I wish there was people that made uh, deep music like this. There's not anymore, bro. Not really. But I'm really glad to see that he's making a comeback.
because this man really can change a lot of shit and he really can affect a lot of lives. I hope to um I hope that God keeps allowing me to do the same thing. But uh you know, it's amazing and I will see you guys later, bro. I'm not going to edit this. It's coming up. It's going up uh directly straight just like this cuz I don't feel like dropping and editing it. So yeah. You guys have been awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know this recording was long as hell, actually. 25 fucking minutes. I still want y'all to drop the whole thing, or uh, to actually react to the whole thing, bro. It's fantastic. I think everyone should react to the whole thing, for sure. And uh, tell me what y'all think. God bless. I uh, love y'all. Good night. And I hope everyone has a good night.